Hello friends! Welcome back to another video. Today we will be looking at the recent sketchbook I finished. This is the monologue softcover sketchbook in A5. I'll put up the Instagram handles of the artists of each of these stickers. So, let's get started. This one is a Draw This In Your Style by April slash Monkey Mintaka. You've probably heard of her. I talk a lot about her in this channel. Some cars with Posca pens. I think this is the illustration I painted while I was doing a goals video for the year. A random landscape. Uh, a swatch page and a bunch of faces. This is a spread where I asked my Instagram followers what to paint. I think this is way back in January. I stopped using this sketchbook I think at the beginning of February because I wanted to finish the last sketchbook that I did a tour on. Here are a bunch of pots and pans with markers. Uh, some lily pads which I actually forgot to post. Um, I'm actually making this into a sticker as well as the pots and pans. Another page of swatches. I think these are my gouache colors. This one was another set of drawings taken from my Instagram followers, but I did not like it halfway, so I didn't finish it a page of doodles with markers and an ink pen here are more faces I was taking inspiration from Alba I've mentioned her a couple of times in previous videos I just really like her style and the way she inks as well as how she uses markers. More faces. I think the this sketchbook has the most human characters that I've drawn. Uh, some of these are referenced from Pinterest. Oh, I completely forgot about this page. I was trying to draw landscapes with markers. Some pencil sketches. I was studying... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Danny Diaz. Uh, I really like his art style and his characters. A lot of his characters are not pretty and they are in this odd proportions and I quite like uh, the look of his style. More people. This is the spread I did for another video where I used the Faber-Castell brush pens. On this page, I think I joined Fran Nerd's Patreon and I was watching some of her old videos. At that time, I was feeling a little off about my art, so these are just mindless doodles while I go through a little art slump. More characters. Uh, 
this is a self-portrait as well as this one These were characters I copied from Pinterest. Unfortunately, I can't remember who it was. I'm always struggling with painting human characters because I feel like I don't know what I like. So I'm, I'm still experimenting with a lot of different techniques. I had this idea for a sticker sheet of frogs. Uh, I don't know if frogs are still popular, but um, I had this thought of a bunch of cute frogs with different facial expressions, but I, it, mm -hmm. I ended up not finishing it. Maybe I might revisit this idea in the future. Here's an odd character in a very odd pose. I think this is the start of May already. I was thinking of making full illustrations for Mermaid, but I was still in a little bit of an art slump back then, and I ended up just painting characters in watercolors and ink pens just to make it easy for me. Uh, more characters. These are inspired by just another Ada or Ada. Just another Ada. And Casey Golden. Um, yeah, sometimes if Art Slump is so bad, I just scribble. more swatches for some reason uh, I think at this time I got some Posca pens and I tried painting landscapes I do like the illustrative sort of vector style you can get with Posca pens but I don't like how they peel off the paper Sometimes when I'm in a slump, I kind of, I, I draw, but um, I keep reminding myself what I like about what I'm drawing. So there are notes on the sides here. It also helps me keep track of what I like. Um, if you're following my Instagram, I joined this Whimsy Me's Mermaid. She had four prompts, uh, one for each week. The prompts were the four seasons, so this one is summer. This one's, wait, no. This one is spring. Yeah, spring. This one is summer. And this one is autumn. This one is winter. I kind of don't like the winter one because I feel like I rushed this. Okay, yeah. I became a patron of Sibyline. Uh, she's an artist on Instagram. I've been following for a while. And I really like her style and her paintings with our acrylic gouache. So I tried studying her work on this page. Uh, more characters. <laughs> This one is from Mariha Tiorina. I also like her work. She's a watercolor artist. And I like the proportions she gives her characters. And I wanted to study that. I feel like I'm studying a lot of different artists to see how I want to paint my human characters. Right now, I don't think I'm satisfied with how I paint them. These are studies from Gret Luski. She has this um, sort of 
Western comic book style and she mixes it with a lot of vibrant colors. This spread, uh, some of these are from Pinterest portraits except for this one. I'm quite proud of this one. I didn't use a reference or anything. I More portraits. Uh, this one was reference from Pinterest. As you can see, this is a more uh, anime style. Um, more characters. This one I think I was watching one of April's live streams and there was an image of a cozy little reading nook and I thought it was really cute and I wanted to put a character on that reading nook. This might be a full illustration someday, we'll see. More people from Pinterest. This is a sketch for the adventure sticker sheet I painted. A failed bug. <laughs> I was inspired by Saren Madison. Um, she paints really cool bugs and birds and frogs and toads. But, like, I, I, I got too lazy. <laughs> this one is sort of inspired by Marija Tirina. Um, she... Her characters have long legs, and I don't know why I painted just pants. <laughs> yeah, but I thought they're really funny, and they're really cute. I kind of want them to be sticker sheets. Painted, of course, not not just line work. Yeah, uh, for some reason, because I, I drew pants, I had to draw the upper torso as well. Yeah. Uh, this is from April's live stream. More doodles. Most of these are like mindless scribbles. I feel like the art slump was going on for so long that I didn't really know what to draw or paint. So whatever it is that I'm seeing, I'm just doodling it. I think I mentioned that whenever I don't know what to paint, I just dab colors on the page. So yeah, uh, this sketchbook probably has the most paint swatches you've ever seen and it just shows how much of an art slump I had. These are sketches of my new profile photo yeah and these were these are sketches of my patreon tears I had this idea of a girl harvesting really big strawberries because um, we recently planted strawberry seeds and it had grown tiny leaves and I'm really excited when it produces fruit so i hope i hope it does considering i'm in a tropical country and strawberries are really hard to grow here
we are nearing the end and I don't know about you but if I'm nearing the end of the sketchbook I kind of just wanted to end and start a new one so a lot of these are pencil sketches I hope you can see I was watching a video on surrealism and these are my notes. The narrator was a little sleepy. His voice was sleepy, so I'm doodling so I don't fall asleep. Surrealism is weird. I mean, the older paintings of surrealism, they're really weird. Some tree doodles. I think this was the last page I painted. Uh, these are birds, obviously. Uh, more characters. I feel like I've experimented with a lot of different proportions on this sketchbook in terms of human characters. Um, we are now in the swatch pages. These are my alcohol markers. These were the brush pens from Faber-Castell. Uh, a Little Witch. I think this page was empty and I just wanted to fill it up. Yeah, uh, it says here May 30, 2021. Like I mentioned, I started this sketchbook in January and stopped using it to fill up the previous sketchbook that I showed you and then got back to this one at the start of May or I think mid-April. Yeah, I think mid-April and I finished it at the end of May. So I think this was the quickest sketchbook that I filled. More swatches. These are watercolors. These are my Prismacolor colored pencils. Some of my gouache, some of my acrylic gouache. Okay, so that's the end of the sketchbook. I am inserting here a flip through for those who would like to just see the sketchbook pages without the voiceover. I hope you enjoyed this very chill sketchbook tour and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!